Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD and some facts that you need to know about Windows 10. Now, Microsoft stated that Windows 10 is always going to be up to date. Consumers would get updates first, then business users. That's kind of sketchy. Now, this approach of updates is seen in Google Chrome or web applications about pushing it out to a certain group and then pushing it out to the massive. Microsoft is known for updates breaking stuff, so that's a huge, huge thing about home PC users getting it first. Now, with frequent updates, users will get more features, which is a huge plus. It's free, right? Microsoft is stating that it's going to be the last Windows operating system. Rather than seeing Windows 11 or Windows 10.1, we should see more uh, cool features with the updates and interface changes appearing during the scheduled window of Windows updates. Now, one of the crazy things about Windows 10 home users, it won't allow you to delay updates to your machine. Updates will automatically download and install themselves on the next reboot. Now, for Windows 10 Enterprise users, you can receive only security updates, but not the feature updates. Microsoft is offering a cool little, I don't know, some service thing called long-term or current branch services to get these special updates for the Windows Enterprise users. But still, Windows 10 Home users are the first on the line to get the updates. Now, there is a way to delay Windows updates for home users, and it's going to cost you. And that's to upgrade Windows 10 to the Professional Edition, which is going to cost you between $199 to $99. Will this be a problem? Yes, this is going to be a problem in my eyes. Because, check it out, Windows 10 Insiders are going to be the first group to get patches. Now, if, the guys, if those guys don't grab it and they say everything is okay, then home users are going to get it. Most likely, home users are always the ones that are going to get it. Then home users, then the enterprise people are going to get it. Now, Microsoft's main goal is to get everyone running on the same update features, interface changes, and low-level developer features. And that's it, guys. Those are some of the known facts that I know so far about Windows 10 that you guys need to know. One thing, it is always going to be up to date. So that means you don't have any control of delaying or stopping the update because it's going to be updating in the background. And once it's completed, it's going to install the updates, the features, the security updates, the critical stuff. It's going to install that stuff automatically for you. Is that a good thing or is that a bad thing? I want to know what you guys think. Leave your comments right below. Uh, don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.